Hi everybody, this is David Herrera with the Tips Team and welcome back to another After School Tech Tips. Now before we get started, just a reminder to subscribe to the team's YouTube channel to stay up to date with our weekly After School Tech Tips. Now, I am here to talk about Google Vids and Google Vids is actually Google's newest application in their Google Workspace suite of tools. This is currently available for all staff and students of Edmonton Public Schools. Google Vids is a video editing platform and it allows us to create high quality polished videos within the Google ecosystem. So this means that videos created through Google Vids are saved directly to Google Drive. I can access them in any computer where I'm logged in with my Edmonton Public Schools email and staff and students can also collaborate on these videos at the same time. Teachers can even assign Google Vids assignments through Google Classroom. So as any video editing tool, Google Vids allows me to create videos from scratch. I can upload my own video footage, I can upload my own audio recordings and play around with the timeline, be able to cut, edit, change up my video however I want. It also includes things like pre-created templates, which allow me to make videos a little bit easier. So you can see if I go to the very top and go under templates, there is a variety of different suggestions for how I can put together my video. When I select a template, I can see different scenes and this should look very similar to working with Google Slides, except for it's actually a video editing tool. So you can see that I get a variety of different scenes down here in my timeline and I can actually start working within each scene, change the transitions, even add or remove audio. Now, Google Vids also allows me to record video directly through Google Vids, creating a screencast, which would be very similar to a tool called Screencastify. Um, if I am working within Google Vids, I can click on the recording section here and record just my camera. I can record my screen and my camera and then also just record audio to do a voiceover of my video. Google Vids also gives me access to a vast library of stock footage. So if I head over here to stock media, you can see that there's a variety of different videos, stock images, music, stickers that I can add to uh, give a little bit of life to my video as I'm working on it. Now, during the month of February, the tips team is going to be publishing a series of videos outlining the various features of Google Vids and diving deeper into how we can use this new tool. Google Vids even offers some extra features. If you have access to the paid Google Gemini for education, this is Google Gemini's AI tool. We will be releasing a video detailing those features later in the month of February. In the meantime, head over to Google Vids and check out how it works, play around with it, see if this is something that you could use for your own classroom as well. Now, that is it for today. Um, please also check out the fantastic support documentation created by Google that will be in the description. If you'd like to learn more and stay up to date with regards to EdTech tools, don't forget to subscribe to our channel or connect with a tips member for them to come out and do some professional learning at your school. That is it for me today and have a great day.